what are some tips for organizing and cleaning your closets? That's a great question and we're going to talk about that today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer. Now today's show is brought to us by Savvy Cleaner Training, which is house cleaning training for house cleaners and maids and Airbnb hosts that do their own cleaning. All right, now we have a training program over there that goes into some really specific details and there are training videos on how to do a deep clean for a closet, how to do a maintenance clean for a closet, and then if you're an Airbnb host, what your closet should look like and how you get it ready for your guests. So it's a deeper training, but I'm gonna give you a really condensed version of it here today. Okay, so for a closet, a closet is a place that we visit every single day a couple of times a day. At the beginning of the day when we get dressed, at the end of the day when we take our clothes off and we put everything away. So inside your closet, there should be some form of a laundry program, whether it's a laundry hamper or laundry baskets or whatever. If you're lucky and you have enough space, you will have two laundry baskets, one for light and one for dark clothes. As you take those clothes off, they go in one of the two respective laundry bins. So if you sort them as you go, you're saving a step and that falls into our one touch program. Another thing that I might recommend is that you have a space for everything. And by that, I mean group all of your like items together. So for example, all of your pants would be in one spot. All of your shorts would be in one spot. All of your short sleeve shirts would be in one spot. All of your tankinis would be in one spot. Now, while I'm talking about having everything in one spot, I do want to mention that I would recommend the felt coat hangers. The reason for this is stuff won't slide. And so if you have coat hangers that are made of metal, or they're made of plastic, if they don't have the little hooks on the side, if you have something like this and you bump it, it's gonna slide right off and fall off into your closet. So you wanna make sure that you have systems that work for you so that you're not duplicating your work over and over again. Then I would suggest that you have a, a different type of hanger for your pants. For your dress pants, like the pants that I'm wearing right now are not dress pants, but as soon as they come out of the wash, I hang them up immediately. And the reason that I hang them up, I fold them by the crease of the seam. I hang them up over here and I have one pair of pants hanging on one pant hanger. Now they do have hangers that have multiple slots on them for multiple pairs of pants. And I've tried those over the years and I don't find them effective because they're too hard to use. And so I end up taking them off and I have like one pair of pants on them and then I never use them except for one pair of pants. It's too hard to get the other pants to slide in there and whatever. It's just, I like the single hangers and these just have a little thing of plastic on them. And I will put uh, links to these in the show notes so that you know where to get these and also the felt hangers. But these grip your pants so that your pants don't slide off either. So again, you want a system that works. As far as stuff in your closet, because you're going to have either a dresser with all of your panties and socks and things like that, maybe winter gloves or hats or mittens, whatever you have, you're gonna have different things in your dresser. If you don't have a dresser, and I don't actually even have a dresser, so what I've done instead is I use stackable bins. This is just a plastic stackable bin, and this one has socks in it. So when I go to do my laundry, I fold all the clothes on the bed, and I put them all back in the laundry bin, then I go inside the closet, and I just take all the lids off and I put the panties in one, I put the socks in one, I put all the different stuff in the different bins and it's just stackable. So it's not fancy. They're not organized like you would see on a Pinterest page. This is just a very practical approach and you can also use a milk case or whatever, but it's all organized. I can see at a glance and I prefer the plastic bins because I can see at a glance what's in them. I've seen these really decorative, elaborate closets where all of the bins are some fancy design and they may be labeled or whatever, but I can't see with my eyes what's inside the bins. So I don't know if what's in there is empty, if it's full. I don't know if somebody has put something away properly. I can't tell just by looking at the outside of a dark colored bin. So I like the clear bins, again, because I'm a very practical person. And so that's what I recommend. And you can get bins in different sizes. This is a bin that I use for my work clothes. So whenever I come in from mowing the yard, for example, my clothes will go through the wash. I take them off, they go in the laundry. When they come out of the laundry, these do not go up on a hanger. Now these are old work pants that I have used, but now they've become old and they're faded. 
So these become my garden pins. And so I just fold these up, they go inside the bin, the lid goes back on it, and now I know at a glance these are my garden clothes or my working out in the yard clothes. So it's a great system for me because every single thing is easy to find. Now, I wear lots of these blue shirts. I wear them every day, in fact. And so my secret to success is to put these at the very front of the closet. You want everything that you wear on an everyday basis at the front of the closet and the stuff that you're not using may be further back. Like if I go to a party and I have a party dress, the party dress is gonna be hanging at the back of the closet. It's gonna be hanging in a closed hanger so that it doesn't collect any dust. Just when the air condition kicks on, it blows stuff around your house even if you have a really clean house. And so I don't want dust blowing on that because if I go to wear that party dress, I don't wanna to have to stop and wipe off all the dust or whatever happens inside your closet. So put all the stuff that you wear at the front of the closet and put the stuff that you wear less at the back of the closet. That way it's really efficient and when you just step inside your closet, everything that you need is right there for you. So I would use a system that is easy, like I say with the invisible see-through bins, I can see very quickly what's there. If I have all my clothes right up front, then I can easy access them. When I'm done with my towel from my shower, I have hooks and I'm a big fan of over the door hooks because I can take a towel that I'm done using and instead of recycling the towel and washing it after every use, if it's, I just got out of the shower, I'm clean. My towel is clean, it's a little bit damp, but it will dry out and I can use that towel again maybe two or three more times. So I will hang it up on a hook that's on the back of the door so that I can reuse it again and it's usually dry by the next time I take my next shower. So there's another hint for you. On the door that closes to the closet on the other side of the door, then I have a different hook and that is a shoe rack where the little shoe things pop up and I can hook my shoes and slippers on there. So when I go in, I don't have shoes strewn all about the closet. I've freed up the floor space and then I have my shoes hanging on the back of the closet door so I don't see them except when I need them. Then I just close the door, pick out the shoes I'm wearing, and there you go. Everything is organized and put away. One more tip is I do have a big walk-in closet, and that is where I keep my ironing board. So my ironing board plugs right around the corner into the bathroom, and I just do my ironing right there. So the ironing board I also use as a table. And so if I'm not ironing clothes, if there's some laundry that I need to fold, or if there's something I need to put away, I can use my ironing board as a table to do that and then turn around and put whatever I have where it goes. So if you can envision that, it's just a couple of tips to try to keep you organized. Everybody has different size closets and you're gonna to have to find out the system that works best for you. And maybe you are a Pinterest kind of person and you have a beautiful closet. And if you do, I envy you. I am not that person, I'm super practical. I like quick, fast, short, something that I don't have to worry about and something that I'm not always folding and redoing everything meticulously. I like it to be quick, fast, and efficient. So that is my system, and I recommend that you do something similar. In an Airbnb, and I will throw this in here, in an Airbnb, you wanna make sure that you have closet space for your guests. And if you don't have closets that are available, over the door racks are awesome because they can hang either a hanger they can hang their coat, they can hang towels, and they can hang things up without them you know, being tossed on the floor and being you know, in their way during the, the, the vacation. So that is just something I would recommend. An over-the-door rack. They're very inexpensive. I'll put links in the show notes to those as well so that you can see what I'm talking about. But create a system that's easy to use and something that you're going to go back to on a regular basis. Because if it's not easy and it's not efficient, it's just a waste of time. So you wanna create a space that works for you and helps you stay clean, tidy, and organized. Alrighty, that's my two cents for today. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.